What's going on guys, Real Touch GML here back with another Java tutorial and today we're going to be continuing on with creating our player. So uh, if you've not seen last tutorial, go ahead and click that link in the description and it'll bring you right there. But if you have, then you will know that we did create our global positioning system uh, and our player class. So if we w went ahead and ran it now, uh, as you can see, not a thing has changed. We still have this blank screen. Um, so that's what we're going to be changing today. We're actually going to create an image for our player and display him on the screen. Okay, so I actually do have an image uh, picked out here. Uh, and we're going to be using this guy right here. Uh, so right click on your source file, new folder. And we're going to name it images. Go ahead and finish that and you now have this folder uh, that has a white box and a cross uh, called images and this is wow this is where our images are going to be stored so go ahead and I just created this in paint.net so uh, I'm sure you can put together a, like a little square a guy or you know it could be anything you really want so uh, go ahead and drag that image into the images folder go ahead and press OK and if you open it up, we have the player.png. Now I am using PNG files. Uh, I'm not sure if JPEG will work, but uh, I don't know. Just make it PNG if you can, so there's no confusion. But uh, all right. So in our player, in our uh, player class, we're actually going to set up a new function to get our image. So we're going to say public image get player image that's what I'm calling it and now what I'm gonna say go ahead and import that uh, now we're gonna say image icon we're gonna call it I equals new image icon so we're creating an instance of our new image icon go ahead and import it and in these parameters here in the parameters of image icon we're gonna say get class dot get resource and then we're going to say player image. Now we actually haven't created that. Uh, this is a variable here, and this is going to store the path to our images folder. Uh, and then you see we are actually getting the error here, and we actually need to return i.getImage. And that is going to return our image. Um, again, we get this error here. Let's go and fix that real quick. So at the top of your class, just go and say private private string uh, player image I think that's what we called it equals and we're going to say slash now remember this is very important that you have to put that slash or, or else it won't work images slash player dot png and that creates a path to our uh, to our images folder and gets out that player png now you can see there's no error here and now all we have to do is call this class this function get player image and it will get our image and display it so in our draw we're gonna say g2d because this is the uh... okay so we use this g2d uh, because this is our graphics 2d variable g2d uh, just like in our um, in our game class here we have graphics g and we switch to that g into a g2d variable by using a cast system. So uh, we're going to say g2d g2d dot draw image and then this is where we're going to put our function name so get player image x y null and then you can go ahead and do all that boom uh, so we do g2d that draw image get player image this is going to get our actual image from our uh, from our path that we set up and it's going to gather this image uh, now uh, we set the x and y coordinate so I mean we could set that like 100 100 but then our global positioning system uh, <laughs> wouldn't be anything it would be a waste and null is our observer and that just means that it's not referring to this class it's just null null is the same thing as zero uh, so you can pick null or zero 
So uh, we actually do get an error here, and that is because we actually did not set our our integers for x and y to public. So if you set that to public, we should be good now. Yep, there we are. And now, if we go into our game class here, very easy. All we have to do is create a player object. So player p. Uh, we create the player. That's that's what it's called. Import it, and then we name it the variable p. And then we say p equals new player. And you'll notice. Um, wait a second here. We're getting an error, and that is because inside these parentheses, you're gonna put the x in the y coordinate. That's why it's it makes your life so much easier. So if we say 100, 100, this first number is the x coordinate, so it'll be 100. Uh, it'll be 100 uh, pixels to the uh, to the right, and then 100 will be 100 pixels down. So, now if we went ahead and play it, you actually would not see anything, and that is because we actually need to draw it still. So we say g g 2d dot, or no, I'm sorry, we do p dot draw g 2d. Uh, now we use p because this is why we created a uh, object of it, so we can actually use it. So we say p, and then we can actually access the functions with inside our player, which is our draw. Uh, so we could we could access update, we could access get player image, but we want um, we want draw, and then it gives the variable g two d. So now if we play it, as you can see, our player is now on the screen. Look at that. Uh, now it's 100 100 we can actually change this up a little bit if we like to 400 500 and we play it now and as you can see it's down here so that was the tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe tomorrow we might actually get into uh, keyboard input so we can actually move our player around so uh, go ahead and tell me what you what you guys would like to see next uh, whether it be keyboard input or you want to start up with, uh, I don't know, creating a simple background. All right, this is what I want you guys to do, actually. Uh, I want you guys to actually create a background for our, um, for our whole screen here. Now, I'll give you, I'll give you a couple of hints here. Uh, we will be doing this in the game class here. And refer back to your player class because we will be using... Uh, something similar to this so go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe tell me if you actually figure it out or you want me to do a tutorial on that uh, tomorrow so uh, <laughs> I'm curious to see if you guys get it so go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe I know I said that like 500 times but uh, I will see you guys next time